All rise. Judge Vonda B. Court now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1005, Huxtable versus Huxtable. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Okay, Mr. Huxtable, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Yes, so my ex-wife Jennifer and I uh, have currently uh, a verbal agreement okay. regarding uh, support of our child. I pay $1,000 a month to her, and I'm just coming today to formalize that and put it in writing. Oh, okay. So you guys pretty much have an agreement already worked out? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good, good. Who pays health insurance for the child? Uh, I does. currently pay health insurance. Okay, how much do you pay? $259 a month. Okay, how old is the child? The child's three. Okay. Are you all, you are already divorced or are you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. It's good to see that the two of you can work this out. And um, that's very much so the reason why you come to court, to put that agreement in writing. Because if it's not in writing, it's not enforceable. So as of right now, let's say hypothetically, he chose not to pay the amount that you guys agreed on, there's nothing you can do to actually enforce that against him. So it's good that you guys came to court to put that in writing. So I'm going to honor the agreement between the two of you. Um, child support is set at $1,000 a month and the health insurance of $259 a month will also remain in place. Just make sure you maintain the health insurance on the child. Okay, um, let's see. Is there anything else that you all wanted to put in your agreement? Uh, not on my side. Okay. No. Okay, you all sure? I mean, you're already here. You don't want to have to come back and, you know. Just not sh what would an example of something else be? I mean, it could be anything. It could be, you know, you guys want to telephone access to be in writing. Like, if you want to call the child, you want to call the child, you oh, can put that in writing. I would, you that's can talk cool. about the, if I, the child is involved in extracurricular activities, you want to put that in there. I mean, it's kind of up to you. Uh, we've been splitting all of the extracurriculars and things like that, so... Yeah, she's a little ballerina. <laughs> okay. How old is she? Three. Three. Okay. So, the since you all have been splitting the cost of the extracurricular activity, that should be in there as well. Okay. 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 All right. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I just want to go over what you all witnessed in the Huxtable case. The parties had an agreement between them for child support, medical support, and how they were going to split the child's expenses. It's not that difficult, folks. You too can have a case that's just as easy. You wanna minimize the amount of litigation that actually takes place in your court. The more you all are able to come to an agreement that's going to be the best for your situation, it's also gonna be what's in the best interest of your child. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Bondaby.